This is Kenshin 1913, and we are starting another ESO Sunday stream with my friends, the great Ghosty Films. Hello, everybody. The great Bullzome. Hello. And the great Veteran 0121. PC is the best gaming platform, period. And, and Paul is going to explain why in just a few moments. All right, so let's play a little ESO. I'm also chatting with Steve uh, as well, so uh, there might be a little bit of delay every once in a while. You looking for something? Your water is on the counter. But yeah, all right, Paul. Let's let's talk about PC. Let's uh, let's hear about the uh, in interesting mod that you heard about today, or not today, but recently. Yeah, uh, basically Final Fantasy IX PC, there's like modders like basically modding the game so you can like put Beatrix in your party and like they're, they're adding like actual scenes to recruit her, in, her into your party. They're making it so uh, so she's fully playable, unlike the uh, original game where she's like halfway playable. I mean, she's playable in the parts of the game that you have her, but that's it. I mean, I I had her in my my game when I when I did a playthrough of it a while back, but I had to use cheat codes to put her in there. I mean, she wasn't supposed to be in there. Yeah. But this is why this is why PC is the best because you can mod games, make them better. Because you can't count on game companies to actually make their games better. Hey, Abel, what's Gotta... up? But yeah, continue, Paul. Sorry. But yeah, the, the, again, that's that's why PC is the best. Fucking Beatrix in your party. Yeah. You can even you can even equip her with other weapons besides save the queen. Yeah, that's pretty Because you know cool. in the because you know in the uh, you know in the base game, the original PlayStation version, you can't actually take that sword off, or you have to you have to you know have her with that sword. Well, it's still a pretty badass sword, you know. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's good and sh it's just so she you know, can so you she can probably equip what stuff that uh, uh, Steiner's got right. Yeah, pretty much all the weapons she can equip, she can equip. And what what's his best weapon? I forget. Excalibur. Uh, the two Excalibur or two. Yep. Mm, but you have to get that if you were do only doing like a speed run or something. Yeah, the um, I don't know if they're gonna like. I don't know. I uh, but what I would, would imagine what would be, that what I would, would I would imagine that there's a mod that probably fixes that shit. Right. But what would his second best weapon be? Isn't there like? Because I never get the I never gone the Excalibur two because honestly I never been able to fly through that game. Oh. Uh, just the Excalibur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> Does anyone know? Let me ask you this: Is Cyrodiil still a piece of shit? In the essence of, uh, like, it's still tough. Like, I wonder if next week, if we can all get on, or, or whatever the next time four of us can get together, if, uh, if it's a real piece of shit, like, uh, like tough to get through. Oh, we can try it again just to test it out. But... Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to the rift. Apparently there's stuff I uh, I need to do there. Let me see. let me ask. Paul, you are the leader guy. Travel to Stormhaven. Should I go there? No, you don't have to. No. All right. I, I was just gonna say let's queue up for a dungeon, but yeah, 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 we could do that too. I'm just gonna head to the rift anyways, just to see. There's stuff to do there. It's not like me going there is gonna affect it. But um. Yeah, uh, what else? So what's up, Dan? What did you end up doing today? Anything cool? Um, I was practicing my drums for a while, and then I was doing some animation, and then I went to feed Brian's animals while he's on vacation. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Nothing uh, fancy. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm, 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 mm. 
Dan, did you learn, uh, did you learn, uh, anything good yet on the old drums? How do you define good? I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, Louie Louie, I don't know. Can you play that on your own thing, you Jiggy? You know, your oh own, uh, your own guitar if you wanted to. I could probably figure it out. Yeah. But I usually, I've been trying to work on my own stuff so I can make a recording and put it online. All right. Have you, have you, have you done like in Step Brothers yet and put your nuts on the, on the drums yet? Nope. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Is that some people do? Yeah, and well, one guy had like a, 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 a really serious drum kit and then he just put his, he's like, don't you dare put your nuts on it. And then he's like, I'm going to put my nuts on it. And then he, then he ends up doing it. It's good stuff, Dan. I haven't done that yet, but maybe I will now. Yeah, man. It's something to think about for the future. Huh. It's something to think about for the future. Putting your James, did you ever see Step Brothers? That movie is hilarious. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put my nut sack on your drum set. <laughs> yeah? All right, I'm sold. I'm putting my nuts on my drums. Yeah, you should. It'll help. It'll help you sound. It'll help make it sound better. All right, hold on a second, guys. Apparently, I I am being summoned. Uh, yeah, hold on. Oh, right, the title card. Right, 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 right. Thank you, Abel. Sorry. Um. Although at this moment you're just gonna see this. Hold on a second, guys. Loading. Come on, game. Why does it always take so long to, to load the re the UI when you're fucking with the video settings? I'm not sure. I figure something like that would be instantaneous. It does it to me, too, actually. Holy crap, it's still going. Wow. Hey, yeah, hold on, fellas. I'll be right back. I gotta go grab something to drink. All right. Looks like it's just you and I for now. Yeah, I guess so. Pete, did Pete log off altogether? I, I think he's still online. I just, uh, I think he had to go do something real quick. Something about a title card. Oh. Is he still streaming? That I am not sure of. I guess if he is, then Abel's just out there listening to the deadness of space. <laughs> What's happening, Abel? Are you there? I can't see the chat. <laughs> Let's see if I can warp to Pete. So where are you right now, James? I am upstairs on the third floor. Oh, are you in Pennsylvania or California? Oh, Pennsylvania. Oh. But at the uh, August 1st, I will be in Southern California. 
Nice. Fucking right. <laughs> are you gonna be? Are you gonna be logging on tonight? Or uh, I thought Pete said something about how you couldn't log on. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna be able to uh, get on the computer downstairs. Well, essentially, what I, what I would need to do is take my computer downstairs and set it up, but. Someone's uh, using it, and I don't. I'm not trying to be like rude or nothing. Right. Oh, okay. I'm back. Pete, you're Damn. back. Did you guys talk junk about me while I was gone? I figured uh, that. Maybe. I, all right. You're... Nice. Yeah. That's what. That's <laughs> yeah. what... I, I talked a whole lot of crap. Nice. <laughs> that's what. That's what a real friend does. Are you streaming right now, Pete? I am streaming right now, Dan. Oh, because we were just saying that Abel was listening to the deadness of space for a while. Well, I, ho I was going to say, I hope you guys were trying to keep him entertained or something. Well, I started talking once I realized that he was probably just looking at whatever your character is looking at. Yeah, I, I had to go help my mom do something real quick. Uh. But, uh, yeah, so we're back. I'm fighting a tiger or a saber cat. Well, Paul is uh, going to get something to eat, I think he said, bro. Oh, I'm ba I've, I've been back for, like, probably a minute and a half now. All right. Oh. <laughs> so, uh... They... I, just, I just didn't want to interrupt your conversation, so right. I didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Abel was saying, yeah, you, unless you guys are looking, you can't see the chat. That's the only problem. Like, I just read the chat off to you guys as I see stuff going. Oh, I'm going to die. I died. And then that, whoever that is is gonna die too. Hey Dan, you around? Yeah, I'm right over here chopping this wood. You're near us? Oh, nice. Hey Dan. Hello. Hey. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta take out this guy here, apparently. I remember this guy. I got my butt kicked by him repeatedly when I was here. Well, let's try to <laughs> remedy that or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Actually, wait, right. don't I'll be go there in a second. I, I, I gotta put on my uh, fighting armor. Alright. Abel says he's been playing more Dragon Quest VII lately. Huh. Yeah, I gotta tell you, James, I'm really liking Dark Savior, dude. I really like the art the art style that they went with in that game. And I really like the, uh, the, the, the way that the battle works. It's pretty cool. And this last episode you did... Or maybe it was the one before. But just walking around with a dude on your head and then fighting was pretty fucking hilarious. Oh, right, right, right. Where I was carrying around, uh, what's his face? Drizzit. Yeah. Dude, that's a, that's a fun game. It's, it's pretty challenging, but it's, it's pretty freaking fun. Yeah. Um. Are we, uh, Paul's almost here. Okay, cool. There he is. He's the leader. Let's do it. Paul's here now. Dan, you around too? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this guy apparently summons like a bunch of these dudes to fight. Nice job, Abel. He played on the $100 slots and he got himself a, a, a lot of three sevens, man. Very awesome. lucky. That's like that's like HC Bailey luck. You notice how HC Bailey? I mean, not to bitch at him. I did watch a video his today just because I was like, since I wanted to see what LPs he was gonna do next. But he had like uh, he always ends up getting really lucky. And he's like, oh shit, yeah, look at this. I got uh, I got like all this shit. Wow, look at this. I'm like, hmm. At least when I cheat, I say it right up front. Usually I say it up front like, uh, hell, I'm using a code or something. I'm not saying that he's using a code, but... I don't know. Oh, four Metal King helmets. Man. You must be rolling in the Metal King dough, man. Or in the Metal King gear now. Dude, it's easy to get Metal King helmets from the PlayStation version, man. I got, like, one Lucky 7 in that fucking, uh... That one casino and what the fuck is the name of it? Uh, Coastal. And I was able to get like three Metal King helms from that. Dan, you might want to get down from there. They make oh. them ridiculously cheap. That guy is up there. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's up there, so we can't get him. No, I mean, well, that guy's up there, too. What guy? There was a guy attacking you that was on top of the, the thing. The, yeah, I know. The I thing, was fighting the thing that you were... Yeah, well, none of us could get him. We had to get him in order to get her to come back down. Uh, Abel, Paul want, uh, um, Paul, Abel wants to know, uh, how long did it take you to get, to get the, the amount to get a couple of them helmets? He how said, long? Not long at all. Yeah, he said it took him about three hours. Three hours? Oh, uh, it took me in, like, maybe 20 minutes. Oh, in really? In the PlayStation version, yeah. Well, I already had some coins built up from the previous casino. Right, right, right. From Dharma. I had, like, maybe... 20,000, maybe 28,000, but even even with that, I mean, you get, like, the uh, the 100 token slot uh, machines in Coastal, and you can rack up, I mean, you get one lucky seven, and, like, you're pretty much set, man. Right, right, right. Now, what other... As far as Metal King Helms. What other stuff do they have uh, at, the, at the casino to buy? Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, I don't remember. The only thing I remember... Giving a shit about was Metal King Helms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. else I think was shit. Okay. No, I was wondering if they had like the Gringham Whip or like uh, some, no, some shit like that. No, not the coastal one. That's that's the one you gotta do with the uh, the immigrant town. You can get the Gringham Whip. Right, or right. Or the right. ultimate whip. Right, 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 yeah. But, um. Uh. Did we get him? Okay, we did. Nice job, everybody. Yeah, Abel said he had about 5,000 tokens when he started so he might be a little he might have had a little less than you I don't know I mean I remember Metal King Helm and you did, it wasn't that many tokens to get like it was ridiculous cheap and then in the final casino when you're uh, trying to like I, I like the uh, the meteorite bracer or the starry bracelet right yeah 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 those are stupidly cheap too and yeah. that's like one of the best accessories in the game right 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 yeah, Abel's also uh, Abel also said he got he played the lucky panels to get good equipment. Yeah, that that's always a good thing to do in the when you get the Dharma. Alright, there's this there's this waste shrine over here. There's a bunch of people over here. Do you guys see these people too? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. For some reason I was thinking this look at this jack off here. Oh, he's a he's a, he's an actual guy. He's a, he's a character. I thought I, I have thought a character he, that looks like him. I thought no, okay. honestly, I thought that he was a uh, he was a, a player. A player. NPC. Yeah. He's a player. Yeah, this guy's. It says packed guard. That's what it says on mine. Oh wait. Oh wait, no. That's be that's because there's a pack guard over here. Hmm. No, that's a player. Yeah. Okay. He kind of looks funny. That, that, uh, yeah, he does. I made a character like that to fight Thomas Stout, but Thomas Stout never logs in. Yeah. No. <laughs> he, no. He's he's probably. What's that noise? He's probably fairly devastated. You know what I mean? He's been devastated these past couple weeks. This is not a good year for Stouter, I don't think. No. No. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so while we're here, we might as well... Also, one thing I was going to talk to Paul about was uh, Game of Thrones. And uh, the anticipation for it. It's, uh, it's uh, mounting every, every day, I think. Or maybe not every day, but... They brought out another trailer. It was damn awesome. It was cool. Yeah, and being the contrary bastard that I am, I think my my uh, enthusiasm peaked last month. Mm hmm And now it's starting to actually come down a little bit to it's like, all right, why don't they just start the goddamn season already? Yeah. That kind of reminds me, like, when I first started watching Game of Thrones, like, every time, every, everything... That uh, everything that would pop out was like they never showed like foot video footage of it. Otherwise, I'm like, all right, I'll watch this. It was just like winter is coming, winter is coming, and I just kept saying, and I think it came out like in March or something, and I'm like, or April or something. I'm like, why don't they show this in the winter? And then, like I said, the uh, the first uh, the first episode, I was hooked. 
I was like, look at all these guys die, and then friggin', uh, you know, you, you got these cool Stark guys, you got this, the whole incest thing, which, I mean, isn't cool, but it's intriguing in the, in the story sense, and then throwing a fucking kid, kid off of a fucking tower is amazing. Go. Yeah, I'll, I'll look out after I get to this dolmen. I want to at least get a hit in before there. it's all gone. Hey, Private Sleepy, what's up? Abel's saying t Stout probably doesn't log in because he's afraid that we're going to bust his balls. Well, honestly, uh, you know, the past couple of weeks, you know, I probably wouldn't bust his balls too much because he's going through some shit, man. I think we mentioned it on the stream, but in case you haven't heard, his lady love passed away. And, uh, yeah, it's been shitty. And then his grandpa died. So he's not having... his uncle. Oh, it was his uncle. That's what it was. But, yeah, he's not having a good 2017. You know? His 2017 is like a, go is like a dumpster fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dan, you know a lot about dumpster fires? I know that they're on fire and that they smell bad. Yeah. But yeah, we got... Yeah, he's been having... Oh, I shouldn't have attacked that creature there, but... What are you gonna do? Anyways... Yeah, so... Yeah, um, so there was a new trailer and... Right, right, yeah, yes, they to go back. A few, a few new things like... Uh, like some more dragon footage right. and Barak Dondarian with his sword on fire yeah. fighting Yo. fucking uh, White Walkers, which is gonna be goddamn cool. We got to see uh, we got to see honestly because I, I watch Alt Shift X's video about about the trailer. He's talking about like oh dude they're gonna go into King's Landing and, and not King's Landing I'm sorry uh, Casterly Rock. Like Tyrion is gonna take the Unsullied to Casterly Rock and take out the Lannisters home. And that would be That's so... That's what it looks like, yeah. Yeah, that would be so awesome, man. I just want Cersei to die so bad. It's gonna be so good when she gets killed. And I hope Jamie kills her, but... But, uh, I, I think it's just gonna be a dragon. It's just gonna burn down the whole fucking thing or something, man. It'd be fucking awesome. God damn, it'd be awesome. And then there I was... I wouldn't mind seeing, uh, Arya kill her. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I don't. Th I think Arya is going back. I think Arya is going up north to see uh, see her family. But you know, I mean, distance doesn't really matter in that show. She could be in, she could be in Winterfell one episode and then be in King's Landing the next, and be like, oh, I was just traveling south, and then here's King's Landing. You know what I mean? That happens. Let's see what else we can do here. Maybe get this book. I guess maybe I don't fucking know. Oh man, we've been queued for this dungeon for a long time. We didn't get in it. Oh man, not yet. Yeah. We're just waiting for we're just waiting for one other dude. Yeah. Some other one other random dude to to join us. But yeah, if anyone else is, wants to yap about Game of Thrones in the uh, comment section, go right ahead. I mean, I don't know how big of a Game of Thrones fan you guys are or whatever, but yeah, it's gonna be an awesome season. It's a shame it's None only seven episodes, you know. There's there's hardly any people that watch my videos that seem to know anything about Game of Thrones. There's yeah, maybe man. like one or two. Yeah, because I notice sometimes well, you're making references to it, and I'm like, man, I am surprised no one is picking up on this stuff, man. I know I know of one guy. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Let's see. Is there anything else to do around here? Took care of that, Dolman. Well, maybe they just shy and they don't say anything. Right, yeah. Well, you know, the thing about it is, is like, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think the thing about the average YouTube viewer is like they, they watch it from their phone or they watch it like somewhere and then they don't, you know, they just don't comment because it's like, eh, on the next video kind of thing. I'm almost perfectly camouflaged with this rock. Yeah, I don't think there's anything be. else I could do here. Yeah, it's, it's interesting to figure out the, the type of person who leaves a comment all the time. Or leaves a comment, you know what I mean? Because usually mo most most people just watch the video and then boom, that's it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
Abel says he never got in the Game of Thrones. That's all right. You still got time. And he said he's aware that Vet named his merchant in Dragon Quest Three Tyrion from Game of Thrones. That is true, I, I believe. And I think he called it Tyrion. I think I ended up calling it like Tyrionville or some shit like that. Yep. All right, let's see. The Rift. Pretty much we did everything here. I mean, I didn't get all the way shrines here, but fuck it, I don't care. Let's see. The Eastern March, let's see. Anything I could do here. Yeah, I'm sick of this fucking queue, man. Like, whenever you're done, Pete, we'll just go to a dungeon. Fuck yeah, 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 I'm, I'm done. Let's do it. I'm just, okay. I'm just chilling at this way shrine. Let's go to, uh, let's see, Blackheart Haven. Where is that one at? Blackheart Haven. Yeah, the couple... I just gotta find it on the map. The couple times I've, like, named my characters not... Like Kenshin or whatever, or what? What's up? Pete, are you there? Hello? Hello, yeah, I'm still here, sorry. Yeah, I'm... Something, I don't know. People are watching. Bankrai. All right. Anyways, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, right. So, when I name characters, it's, if it's not Kenshin or, like, the default name of characters in in the game, like, I've only named, I think I've only named <clears throat> people, like, uh, like, names after people who died, like, Alan Rickman and fucking <clears throat> David Bowie and shit like that. So yeah, this dungeon is in uh, Bankerai. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna travel to you. Okay. I'm not even I'll gonna... just hang out by this way shrine. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah. I'd name. Yeah, I usually just name the characters after like default shit, or, or Ken, I name them Kenshin or whatever, you know. But, uh, yeah, man. Game of Thrones is gonna be good. Castlevania on Netflix is gonna be good. I th Hopefully. I hope I hope it's Castlevania? Gonna... Yeah, they're, they're making an animated show. Oh. It's gonna be on Netflix. So, probably pretty good. Because... Is it uh, gonna be, uh... Is it gonna be the Zelda cartoon cringy? Or is no, it no, no, be... no. It actually looks really good. Alright, Paul, oh, I'm this here. fucking, excuse me, princess shit? No, 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 no. Honestly, I bet you if Netflix or if they gave someone a legitimate uh, shot at making a good Zelda cartoon, it'd probably be good. All right, so where are we headed, Paul? Is this you? Yeah. Yep, this is me. We're going this way. But yeah, they could legitimately make a pretty good cartoon. I don't think Nintendo is in in, in the interest of making like TV shows out of their cartoon or uh, what is it? I, I don't think they have any interest in making. Uh, you know, TV shows with their intellectual properties. I think they tried one time with Super Mario Brothers back in the day, making that movie, and it bombed so bad that they they uh, they it bombed so bad that they're like, yeah, we're never making another movie again. Because even at the end of that movie, they had like a thing for like a trailer where they're like, oh, yeah. or not a trailer, but like they left it open for like a a, a, a sequel, and it's like, nah, nah, let's not, because it was so bad. Um, Monkey. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That was just fucking. Was that, was that one fucking actor in that movie, uh, Dennis? Uh, Dennis Hopper. Fuck... Yeah, yeah. That one fucking line in that movie, I'll never forget. Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of interesting shit. Dennis Hopper and and uh, Bob Hoskins definitely made the movie. Man, they were fucking great in it. Like great, like bad great. And Bob so Hoskins so apparently bad, went, it's good. Yeah, and Bob Hoskins apparently went to the hospital many times on the set because of the crazy shit they had him do. But um what was I going to say? Uh yeah, Pokémon is on. It's 20th season, Abel said. That's true. But is that totally Nintendo? Is that totally a Nintendo thing? No. And then yes, I have seen Captain Did that do that 
Uh, we're doing this place? Yeah. Didn't we... Did, why? What's wrong with that, Dan? Isn't this the one where we got killed by that skeleton guy? The pirate again guy? Again? Yeah. Oh, we, oh, we're gonna whoop his ass this time. Come on, Dan. Alright. Um... But yeah, I did watch Captain N. Simon Belma was really, really gay. Really, which guy do I gotta talk to to get into this thing? Just examine the boat, Pete. Oh, what? Um, which fucking boat? The boat. With the guy on it? Good job. No. What the fuck am I looking at? You know what the problem? I don't know. Guys. Here's what's gonna happen, fellas. I'm gonna share the screen for a second, Paul, and you're gonna show me because Stouter, uh, Stouter is on. Really? Yeah. All right. Let, let, let me share the screen because honestly, I don't know wh what boat I'm supposed to be looking at, and honestly, it's because no cancel. Uh, it's because uh, he 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 uh he friggin' messaged me. So I did not... Which boat? Is it this one with this guy here? I don't know. I can't see anything. Pete, I'll come get you. Yeah, because I, I need a babysitter. I'm sorry, guys. You can't right. You can't see anything, really? No, I can't see anything. I th I'm not sharing the screen? <laughs> well, you are, but I don't, I don't know why I can't see your thing, because, uh... Well, maybe they don't have share your screen options and, uh... In this fucking built-in version of Skype. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Hey, you see me now? No, I don't. So how do I look at your screen? All right, screen? yeah, I see you. I see you. This boat how right do I here. look? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh, so you gotta get on the boat and then talk to the guy. I just uh, pointed at it and, and click E. Yes. And this is Blackheart Haven. And it's Enter Blackheart Haven. You click Enter Blackheart Haven. So why is this not working? Stop. You, Hello? You oh, there we go. The boat. There we go. Oh, All right. now, I can, now I can see it. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop sharing screen, though, because it does eat up my bandwidth. So if I don't do it, it'll be, you know, all crappy. But, yeah, Nintendo owns some of Pokemon along with Game Freak. I, kinda, I knew that, but I didn't know that it was the whole thing. Or, There's a pirate disguise inside this sack here, or inside this thing. Oh, yeah, we got we to gotta do this, this whole thing or whatever. We could, or we could just fight our way through. Yeah. No, we're just gonna fight our fucking way through. Yeah. Fuck that. But yeah, I remember Fuck Simon this sneaking around shit. I remember Simon Belmont and um, Captain N. He was like 100% gay, like really gay, like flamboyant, flamboyantly over the top gay. That's how gay he was. Like, uh, like Dan Brown gay. No, I'm just joking, Dan. Where is I was going to say, like, um, it's stout. Yeah, where is Dan, anyways? I'm getting killed back yeah. here. Yeah, you gotta you gotta come near me so I can heal you, buddy. Hey, you Damn it, dude, I fell in the people. fucking water, man. I'm, like, underneath the fucking thing. Jeez. Yeah, he was really disappointing in that. Mega Man had, like, this really nasally, terrible voice, too. You know what I mean? Oh, man, that, it was such a bad show. Well, no, no, you know what? It wasn't a bad show. It was just, uh... The characters that they got for it did not represent what people probably would assume they would sound like. You know what I mean? Like, Mega Man was... And then Mother Brain... Wasn't Mother Brain like a flamboyant brain lady or something? Like, it was just really bad. I right, let me add Stouter. Let me, let me add Stouter to the call. Um... Let's see, add to the call. Stouter. But yeah, it, it was a, it was a, f there were, there were a lot of disappointing aspects to it. Like, I never said, hey, is that guy gay in, in the show? But I was probably thinking it. I was probably <laughs> like, yeah, that guy's gay. Gay, he's gay as oh. a $2 bill. I just fell in the water, man. How the hell did you get up? Hello? Hey, Stouter, what's happening? Yep, Stouter's here. Yeah, there haven't been there haven't been many uh, good video games 
uh, vi the TV series based on video games. I mean, the Pokemon one, Abel, I guess. But, like, how long is... If it's been out for 20 years, don't you think it's been kind of stale? Is Ash still the guy? Is Ash still the fucking guy in that show? I mean... I don't know. The Castlevania thing is going to be good, though. All right, there we go. Um, yeah. There's a lot of fellas here. Or not fellas. Just pirates. So what's happening, Stouter? I uh, want to say I am sorry about your lady love. Yeah, it's... This year fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah, we were saying how 2017 has been a dumpster fire for you. Or was it a garbage yeah. fire? I don't remember one of them. It's, it's terrible. So where are you living right now? Uh, at the same place I have been. At Shirley's? Yep. Who owns, like, her the, the place where you're living now? Carl. He's always owned it. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're, sa you're safe in that aspect? You know, you don't have to worry about... You know, is, am I gonna get evicted or whatever? No, no, no. Everything's taken care of. Well, that's good. Yeah, it just fucking sucks ass, man. You know, and the the thing is, you know, my uncle dies, and then um, like two months later, I'm back up in the ICU, and all the nurses and shit are like, "What? What the hell are you doing here? We just saw you like two months ago." Yeah, man, it could be your bad luck. No, I ain't bad luck. I don't know, you never know, but... Something's going on, though. That's all I'm saying. Uh, it ain't me. It sucks, though, but what are you gonna do? It's... Oh, Ash gets new companions throughout the series, yeah. Yeah, so he doesn't always have Brock and Misty with him, or... Was that her name, Misty? That's one of those, that's one of those characters, like, whenever I... there, It's like... there. At a convention, it doesn't matter what convention you go to. There's always going to be a Misty, and there's all there. And if it's a, and if it's a sci-fi convention or something, there's always going to be a fucking Slave Leia. If there's not a Slave Leia at a convention, then it's not a real convention. <laughs> you know what I mean? Someone always. Yeah, dresses man, up. gotta have, you gotta have that iron bikini. Yeah, someone always dresses up as Slave Leia. And thank God it's usually people who have, you know. It's not like, uh, you know, various folks looking like, you know, they probably shouldn't be wearing a, a bikini, like, no clothes at all, walking around like Slave Leia, you know what I mean? Whoa, they're attacking Should us. Should I? Should you? I don't know. I don't know, Stouter. I mean, I'm sure someone would like to see you dressed up as Slave Leia, but not me. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's Steve. Me yeah, I think Steve would oh, probably yeah, want to see you dressed up as Slave Leia. Or Misty. To be honest, Misty's fairly easy to do too. I mean, shit, she's, uh, all you need is like a, a fucking holster top or some shit and some other crap and you'll be all set, man. Huh. She's got like a orange hair. What else? Has she got like a yellow... A yellow, a yellow crop top. Thank you, Vic. Jeans and suspenders. Jeans and suspenders. But they're jean shorts. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, you know, Misty's easy as shit to do, man. Where, where's James at? James is here. Oh, he is. Oh, I did his picture thingy, and he wasn't talking. So, okay, never mind. James is also on where's... his phone, right, James? I am. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, Dan Brown tonight. Oh, Dan's here. I said hello to you like five times. Oh. Man. Well, I don't know who's all in this fucker. Man. Okay, here, hold on. Let's look. Okay, I see now. Okay, I see who's all here now. I'm sorry. Huh. Oh. So what else has been oh, going okay. on? What else been going on with you, Stouter? Did, uh, you, did you uh? Did you uh end up uh becoming like assistant manager at Walmart yet? No. Not yet. No. Yeah, they're slash cap two. Oh, you're you're a cashier? No, I'm an unloader. I I 
I unload the truck and stock the shelves and shit. Oh, you're unloading now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, soon you're gonna be like a warehouse manager or something. Uh, no, we don't have a warehouse here in Pittsburgh. Whatever, man. You're gonna be the manager of something in the back. I'm not going to Oklahoma. You're gonna be, you're gonna be, you know, oh, so you're not going, you're, are you biased against people from Oklahoma? No. It's just our, our warehouse distribution centers in Oklahoma, and I'm not right. going there. Well, what, you know, what about, what about, what, like, the, no, nah, I don't know what I was going, shit, man, this is, it's tough. Yeah, there was a Dragon Quest anime back in the early, or late 80s, early 90s. I did watch, like, three episodes, and they had the Dragon Quest theme on, and I was so pumped. I was like, holy shit, there's a Dragon Quest cartoon? And I tried to get up, like, to watch it, but, uh, it, it, it didn't happen. I was a kid, I couldn't get up that time. It was so goddamn early. If I had like a VCR or DVR now, man, I'd be able to watch those shows, no problem. Could, could you Google that shit and watch it now? Yeah, you could probably Google it. Although I don't know if they're if all of them are, are around though. Oh. Huh. But uh, yeah, you could probably watch it. Yeah, there was one called Abel's uh, uh, Dragon Quest Abel something or other, and th and there was like a kid who with like a Cool looking sword and shit. There's all kinds of like different uh, video game cartoons and stuff. But yeah, they had the Zelda show. They had the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. They had uh, they had a lot. That's the sales. Yeah, check. I like that sales. What'd you say? Oh man, the guy just kicked me off the uh, thing. Yeah, and we got we got destroyed here, Paul. So you're watch out for his uh, mace, his giant mace that he uh, that he uh, has. Well, it might, it might not even be giant. It might just be a regular sized mace. But watch out for it. I can't even I can't even see it. Yeah, Abel, definitely Google. Uh, I think it's like called Dragon Warrior, or Dragon Quest, uh, Abel anime or something. It's pretty cool. It's a cool looking show. I didn't get the. I, I, I don't. Huh? There's a Dragon Quest drama too. Oh, there's a Dragon Quest drama, my sister said. Oh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, if I could. Sh if I could show what Paul's doing down there, I would, but. My body's up here. He's fighting. Yeah, I know he's fighting. Here, I'll try to go up by. No, no, no. I'll try to go up to where you're at. Paul, Paul. Paul, win the battle. Oh, is I don't that want... the boss down there? Yeah, don't, don't, don't come up here so I can get a better camera angle. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just beat this, get... beat this motherfucker. How did he get all the way down there? Uh, he got knocked off. Well, Go, it almost happened again. Yeah. You know what? I didn't eat any goddamn meat. I did not eat any goddamn food. Are you a veg? Are you a vegetarian? Not in this game. Not in real life either. That guy one hit, one killed me. Or one kill, one hit, or whatever it is. So, Stouter, besides your mom, what, what it, oh. oh. Besides we your mom, meet, what it, so. besides your mom, what is keeping you in Kansas, man? You can, you can move out. You can move out. You can become like the Oklahoma, uh, Walmart you know, Pete, guy. You yeah. know what I just realized? What? I realized that this is the veteran version of the dungeon, and I cannot intend for this to be the veteran version of the dungeon. Right. So what you're saying is we're going to have a lot of trouble going forward. Yeah, I'm saying fucking leave. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm all for uh, getting the hell out of Dodge. Ooh, Pete, you're eating a drumstick thing there. Yeah, n now I am because I'm an idiot and I didn't do it when I got on. All right, let's He's get hungry. The, let's get the F out of here. I don't, I don't know why it didn't even give us the option to, to, like, change that before, but for some reason, it was set to veteran. Even though last week, I, ch I changed that shit to normal, so I don't understand why the fuck it defaulted to veteran. I shouldn't have done that. Well, let me ask you this, Paul. Is it because you're the leader guy, so it just adjusted to your level or something? No, because you can choose, like, which, which, one, which mode you want. Yeah, see, I had this... 
I had this set on normal before, but for some reason the fucking retarded ass game put it on veteran. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gstat, why don't you get in this game? He's on his phone. Oh, I'm on my phone. That that okay. would be, that would be interesting playing this game on a phone. Yeah, although apparently you, you're going to be able to play Skyrim on your Switch, which should be interesting yes. to see. But I I honestly don't think it'll be any good. You have a switch? No, I don't, I don't have a switch. Have... And Stato sure no, as hell doesn't get... have a switch. And, uh, but Pete will get a switch. No, I'm not. Prone. No, I'm not. Oh. No. Nope. Oh. Won't be getting a switch anytime soon. I might buy myself a 2DS, but I'm not buying a fucking switch. Steve's got a switch. All right, that's fine with him. I mean, he wants to play Breath of the Wild. That's cool. Yeah, no, he's Mr. Zelda. Yeah. Yeah, Abel's like maybe you have, maybe you got in the in the veteran dungeon because the leader is called Veteran Oh One Two One. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe that they, could be. That could be. Maybe the computer must have been like, oh yeah, we're gonna. So what's happening now, fellas? I warped over to here. I don't know where the hell. Oh, I am in Bankerai. Okay, good. I warped All out. Right, I'm I'm going I'm going in the dungeon again. It should be normal this time and oh. not fucking. All right. Well, I'm just gonna warp to you. I okay. haven't been on ESO in so the long. Nintendo it would probably take collectively like eight hours to update. Um, what was that? Well, you haven't. Been, I heard you haven't been on ESO that it would take I've been hours. On I haven't been on ESO in so long. It would probably take my computer and internet like twelve hours just to load the fucker. And then, and then, uh, and then, what did you say, James? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Stouter was talking. Oh, no, that's um, right. Nintendo can collectively choke on a penis. Yeah, they have terrible business practices, honestly. Looks like Japan's Dragon Quest XI is going to be out one more month. Yeah. I've been looking at some of the uh, footage of that. It looks pretty good, man. It lo I, I'm looking forward to it when it comes out. Hopefully it comes out to America. I can't see why they wouldn't. There was such, such I can. There was such there was such a good response from um, there was such good response from uh, you know these Dragon Quest Heroes games. I can't see why they wouldn't want to bring it out, man. It would be great. Yeah, and I like the uh, I like the art style that they're going he, they're going with. You know, they're doing a different type of uh, you know. It kind of reminds me a little bit more of Dragon Quest Seven. You know how they don't look exactly Toriyama-like, you know what I mean? But they are still. I don't know. I know that doesn't sound right, but... But yeah, the Switch, uh... Uh, I don't even know how big Skyrim is gonna be. But can you imagine, can you imagine, um... How much, uh, you know, how much space Skyrim's gonna take for the Switch? And the Switch only has, like, 32 gigs of internal memory. You know what I mean? When they I mean, I'm I guess I'm glad that the fucking people that have Switches will get a chance to play it, you know, if they or somehow that's all they play is Nintendo or whatever. Right, 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 right. But at the same time, I'm like, PC is the place to play Skyrim. Yeah. Hell, even the Xbox One's a better alternative. PS4's right. PS4's a better alternative. And, and you know what else? The, the thing about it is, too, that I just died and I didn't have a chance to do anything. That was stupid. But you know what the other thing about it too is like online play for the Switch is kind of dumb because you still need friend codes. Like what the fuck is that? Friend codes still. What the hell is? I don't even know what the hell a friend code is. It's like those fucking things that you gotta have. Everybody gets a friend code when you get like a when you get a system, and then you gotta use those to identify yourself. And you mean order... like a gamer tag? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess. And then you need I know friend. What that is. You know what? You need friend codes in order to uh, like, uh, in order to play with each other. You know, it's stupid. It's really stupid. You know what fucking pissed me off about Sony is when I tried using Veteran 0121 as my fucking uh, as my fucking thing, my gamer ID or whatever. Right. It said it was already in use. Who the like, hell? Who the fuck is using my shit? Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's too bad you can't put like a fucking copyright or no, would it be yeah, c copyright or trademark? One of those two. 
I'm better than 0 one I was actually thinking about doing that for Kenshin 1913 at one point. When I was doing, when I was doing decent, you know, I was like, oh, maybe I'll make Kenshin 1913 a thing. And so other people, like, when, when, it, when you see Kenshin 1913, you know it's me. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I didn't feel like doing it. Plus, it costed a, costed a decent amount to do it at, at the time. To get, like, a trademark or patent or copy. No, it wouldn't be a patent, but... Like, some sort of copyright thing. You know? Yeah, Bullzone was taken on, uh... PlayStation as well. I, got, so I went with, uh, Something else. Yeah. Oh, it's dark in here. So you should buy his gamer tag. Is there a way to buy a gamer tag? Is there a way to do that? Like, if you found out who had, like, Veteran0121, could you, like, message them and be like, Yo, my, this is my name on YouTube. How much would it cost for you to get rid of this fucking thing? <laughs> See, that's the thing. I don't even think Sony lets you change it. Yeah. That's dumb. Like, once it's been used, you can't, like... Yeah, like, you can't so fucking... You can't fucking, like, change it or, uh... Or give it to somebody else. Right. Yeah, there's probably a certain, yeah, it's, it there's, is pretty dumb. There's probably a certain period of time that they give you uh, in order to, um, to like, uh, like after someone says, like, okay, this isn't going to be my name, for it to go out there into the open and being like, okay, now you can use it. No. They don't let you change it ever. Once you fucking have it, that's it. You yeah, can either make a new ID or or keep using the one that you made initially. Yeah, because I had to use the one that I had for the PS3, which at the time, Kenshin 1930... No, at the time, me and my brother had the PS3, so we named it Kenshin 3599 or whatever. But when I eventually... The, the PS3 or became mine and mine alone, I was like, yeah, I want it to be Kenshin 1913. Then I tried to change it and it wouldn't let me. Uh, so and that, basically, you just had to make a whole new fucking ID. Right. Well, I didn't end up you doing lose, it. You lose, like, all your fucking achievements and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you care about that stuff. Right. Which is stupid. You should be able to change it. I mean, as long as the, the thing is open, you should be able to transfer all that shit to a different ID. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Oh, my God. He knocked me way the fuck off and I died. Holy moly. But, yeah, uh, Abel's asking, yeah, hey, Vet. almost dead. Hey, Vet, since it's been almost seven months since you bought your PS4, have you had any regrets in buying it? Is this a question for me? Yep, yep, what yep. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I regret that I haven't really played any other games for it other than Final Fantasy XV. I mean, I do have, uh, what's that one other game? Uh, fucking, um, I can't even think of the name of it now because I haven't been playing it. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, but I haven't played it. Yeah. I mean, I have it, but I haven't played it. No, I've been playing other games. Yeah, it'll eventually get some more so, use, yeah. probably. It, it'll, it might get some more use, uh, maybe later, you know, when I... Dragon Quest XI comes out, or if it comes out. Yeah. And hell, you never know. Dra you. You never know, Dragon Quest X might come out for the PS4 or some shit, too. You never know. And then... Well, the I'll go ahead. Final Fantasy, 12, Final Fantasy 12, I'm kind of hoping for a PC release. Right. They kind of have been, you know, so far with all their other ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, did you know that there's a big Steam sale going on right now? Although I don't know what's for sale. I know that they always do, like, a Steam summer sale. They're they're always doing sales, man. What'd you say, Vic? It's going on now or it's over. Yeah, it's going on now, probably, or it's over. So, yeah. But, yeah, they usually have, like, a ton of games... Uh, on the cheap because they want you to stay in during the summer they're like yo don't go outside and get fresh air guys <laughs> stay in here play games what are you doing <laughs> all right how long do you think before a ps5 will come out uh i don't know if it's coming out anytime soon they just came out with a ps4 pro the one that's supposed to, you know, the one that has, like, uh... The one that's supposed to, but doesn't have 4K support? Right. <laughs> well, they might make a Pro 2, or a Pro Pro, or... 
or something like that. It's called the PS Pro Pro. <laughs> yeah. And, and then that'll come out with oh, 4. Five. That'll come out with 4K. But no, the Xbox is already looking to come out with another system. I don't think the PS... But there, theirs is just going to be sort of on the on the same wavelength as uh, as like the PS4 Pro. Because the Xbox 360 or whatever this one is that's out now, one, is it Xbox One? Yeah. Whatever the fucking Xbox is. X-Bone. The X-Bone does not, I don't think it does 4K at this point. I could be no. wrong on that. I don't know if you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys yeah. in the chat know anything about X-Bones or what have you. But yeah, 4K capability, I think, you, you know. Plus, not a lot of people have 4K TVs, so. I don't see why there's a g giant demand. Although, I mean, eventually 4K TVs are going to come down in price and they'll be more affordable and shit. Oh, look at this guy. He's getting all big and shit. He's growing up, Dan. See, the, the problem is the hardware can't realistically do those resolutions without, like, a huge performance drop. So, it's not even really... I mean, they adver that's what they're advertising, but that shit isn't fucking 4K. It's, it's not. I'm alright with, like, 2K, man. Dude, I'm fine with 1080p, man. I don't yeah. need anything better than that. Yeah, right now it's like, I don't need right 4K. Now. Although, I mean, we have 4K, two 4K TVs in our house, but, but, uh, but that was when, what, there was a sale and my sister picked them up, and they're pretty nice. I have watched some 4K stuff on YouTube, like, in the essence of, like, they were nature videos and shit, and that was goddamn awesome. But, but, like, to watch, like, regular TV on 4K is, like, mm. 4K. What are you saying, uh, Stouter? Steam games, do they support 4K yet? Uh, I don't know, probably. Uh, some maybe. Not all. Certainly better than the fucking PS4. Yeah, I guess if you have a 4K machine, you can run a 4K game, I guess. I mean, I don't well, know. Yeah, I mean, it just it depends on your computer. Right. Depends on your graphic card, depends on your processor, all that shit. Yeah, all that, all that stuff. But the PS4, I know that that crap isn't true 4K. Well, at least my, the PS4. My computer is like half a K. Your computer's half K? Yep. So it's like 500K? Yeah. So start Your computer is 0K. Yeah, I know. It's not very good K, is what it is. It's a bad K. Very bad K. Not even okay. Here you go, Dan, your favorite creatures. <laughs> yeah, Dan. You know, I think then we come up to the conclusion that you would you would probably make love to a harpy before you made love to a mermaid. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I thought we came up to like which, like which which half female creature would you have would you like make love to and i'm not saying i'm not saying dan and i, I don't want to rehash the whole thing but when i say make love i don't i don't necessarily mean you gotta go hardcore boning i'm just talking about like gentle passionate love you know pete i'm sure you came to all kinds of conclusions what i'm sure you came to all kinds of well conclusions. here's the thing dan i i I thought we came to can I thought well I thought you came to I'm sure to you did. I'm sure you did. Uh, no, but I thought we have had the I don't want to hash this conversation all over again. But I thought we figured out that you were like uh you were like yeah, I'd rather make love to a harpy than a merman lady or something. If you had to choose a half half lady half other creature, I thought you said bird. Oh, W Balls 3 is around. He said Thomas Stout's computer is special K. <laughs> special K. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow, this lady is hard. I forgot about this lady. Well, what about a centaur? That's a half horse, half woman. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think he wants to make love to a horse. Okay. Anyways, uh, Abel said his computer is almost six years old. 
And if you should buy and replace parts. Well, maybe. I mean, you gotta do that math. You gotta be like, is it worth me buying like a $300 graphic card or fucking processor? Or could I get like a like a really nice computer oh, for, for like a little bit more, oh, you know what I mean? Computer. Hang in oh, there, Stouter. Yeah. Steve says hang in there, Stouter. Hang in for what? Hang in there. He's just saying hang in there like, you know. Well, you know like that he, you know hey. you know like that cat poster, man, you know? Yeah. You, you, know, you tell him get his ass on Skype. Yeah, he he's listening to the stream. If he wants to get on Skype, okay. well, all he's got to do is all he's got to do is message me and be like, "Yeah, I'll get in this call." And I would yeah, well, gladly put him in the call. Yeah, we love you, Steve. Yeah, Steve, it would be great if you could get in the call. I know you might be at work right now, so I don't I want, you know. Are you at work right now, Stunner? I'm not at work. I got off. I, I'm not. I don't know I at work. I don't know. I think it's, you know, sometimes you can get on the you can get on the phone at work and be like, "Oh, no, see, he's working. He can't get on." That's all right, yeah. Steve. Oh, he's working. Okay. Yeah, because Stouter said he would love to hear from you. He misses the sound of your voice. Congratulations on the penguins. Yeah, he said congrats on the penguins. I mean, he can hear you. I, I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm uh, like repeating everything you're saying, <laughs> like a like a fucking parrot or something. You want a cracker? No. Get 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 get. Hey, you, get down. Get down. Get, get, get. Yeah, he said that. Steve said thanks. Yeah. Like he had anything to do with it, but. Maybe he was there rooting them on. Maybe. But you gotta, you gotta give, you gotta give the Nashville fans some credit, though, because they didn't fucking just leave and be a bunch of bitches when Pittsburgh won, so. You gotta give the fans some credit. Because I've seen some times where teams, the away teams win the championships and the stadium and then the fucking fans are booing and then they're leaving. And it's like, what the fuck, man? You're here, yeah. you're, wit you're witnessing a fucking, maybe a once in a lifetime thing because, uh, you know, when's the next time you're going to be at a Stanley Cup final game or any, any, you know, playoff uh, game, you know, fucking where it's the, the end, the de deciding factor. Personally, I was hoping for Nashville, Steve, but, you know, just because I wanted to see a different team. But, you know what, Pittsburgh, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not against them winning. But he's against the Patriots. He's, who, who's against the Patriots? You. Oh, yeah, because they're always winning. <laughs> hey, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh won two hey. in a row. That's it. Hey. It's not like they're fucking hey. dominating every season. It's like, Jesus Christ. Hey. If the Falcons would have ran the damn ball, they would have won. Yeah, well, have you if been the on? Falcons didn't, if the Falcons didn't blow a 30-point lead. Yeah, oh my won. God, did yeah, they blow it. Saying. So, I mean, it, it's not the Patriots' fault that the Falcons just fucking sucked that. I mean, I, it was over. I, I admitted defeat at halftime. Huh. I knew we were fucked, and they just were fucking terrible and just let us back in, let the Patriots back in the win. Yeah. So, I mean... That's two. That's two they should have lost. They should have lost against Seattle. They should have got the last pick against the Falcons. Somehow we just, they just fucked out. Come on. Fuck. Yeah. But uh, Abel said just letting you know, going to Anime Expo next weekend, so probably won't be on. That's all right, Abel. Uh, I hope you see a, I hope you see a Misty. Uh, you know, cosplaying Misty. I mean, if you don't see a cosplaying Misty... You you honestly are uh, you honestly have not the, the convention is not a real convention. I just want to let you know that. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a real convention because there's probably going to be some misties. But yeah, you always root against the Pittsburgh teams. No love, Pete. Yeah, uh, uh, no, you know I you know I'll I'll root for the Steelers. It's just the thing is I like to see different teams, and Nashville was pretty good this year, so I kind of wanted to see him win. But I'm not like I'm not like my brother who like hates Sidney Crosby. I'm like, yeah, he's good. All right, he's really good. He's got to he, let him get his due, you know what I mean? I'm all right with that. Oh, nice. You're going to meet... You're going to meet Hinoru Sakayuchi, the uh, guy who made Final Fantasy, right? Miss Walker Studios? Yeah, Hinoru Sakaguchi. Nice, man. That's going to be awesome. 
Is that gonna be a panel event, or are you gonna like, or you gotta wait in line to meet him? Dude, that's gonna be awesome. I hope you bring it like a Final Fantasy game and have him sign it or something. That would be awesome, dude. There the was one. Collect <laughs> there was one time. There was this uh, one time. Um, we went to this New York convention, and uh, uh, Yo Yo what was his name? Yoshin Taku Amano was gonna be there. The guy who did all the artwork for. For the original, for the Final Fantasy games. For the first six games. Yeah, and he was gonna be there, but he, like his to get his autograph was like, you had, first you had to be in a line, and then then you had to you had to uh, you had to pay like a shit ton of money, and I'm like, holy god, no! There was a line to get tickets to be in the line for him to, to get in the line. And I'm like, dude, this <laughs> is this is just this is just un unreal. Yeah, I'll have him probably sign his copy of the last story. I did get that game. I never got into it though. I had I, I played it for like a, a couple hours and I just didn't. I don't know. I didn't get the feel. I'd like to go back and try it some more, but but yeah, man, that's fucking cool, man. And then there was a, there was one time back when I'm uh... yeah, it is a huge convention. Well, ho hopefully you can at least see him and say hey or something, even if you can't get his autograph. But there was also another time when the Black Mages, they came around and they were playing at, like, the, the Ridgefield Playhouse in Connecticut, man. And me and my sister wanted to go, but this was before I had, like, I don't know if this was when I had my license or or whatnot. But I was like, I can't fucking drive to Ridgefield. I don't know how to get there. And I was like, dude, the Black Mages were here, though. Fucking, fucking, um, who the hell is the music guy from Final Fantasy? Why can't I think of his goddamn name? Nobuo Uematsu. Yes, yeah, he was there, and I'm like, dude, he's in Connecticut, huh? You know, I'm never gonna get a chance to see him again. But he ha he has uh, occasionally when he does like a a U.S. tour, occasionally he'll go to New York. So hopefully next time he comes around, I'll fucking uh, see him if he ever fucking comes around again. Dude, he would rot. He would. He would probably get like a fucking standing ovation if he went to MAGFest. MAGFest is this uh, music and gaming convention. And uh, yeah, Vic went to it last... Huh? Yeah, it's a 24 hour convention. Vic went to it and she fucking had a ball. And she brought back this uh, CD of this band she went to go see that does like all Castlevania music but like... Not just Castlevania music, but they do like uh, eight-bit music, and then they did like a speed run of what? What game was it? it was Castlevania. Yeah, they did like a speed run of Castlevania, and they did like the uh, soundtrack as the as the guy was playing it. It was really fucking even cool, death. huh? Even the deaths. Yeah, even the deaths when the guy died. But yeah, it was fucking cool, man. You know, I would go to a concert uh, of just fucking video game. Someone playing video game music. It'd be oh fuck, fuck yeah, Nobu Omatsu for sure. Yeah, man. Koichi Sugiyama, definitely. Yeah, there's a lot of guys I would go see. Like, even, even if it wasn't them, it, it, oh here he comes. Jer Jeremy Soul, another one. Yeah, and uh, Matoi uh, Sakuraba. Yeah, the guy who does the Shining Force music. I would love to see him as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly surprised they don't have, like, uh, guys do it. Like, they go around and um, they play. They have orchestras that go around. Hey, hell, video hell. Music. Not, not a video game, but Ramin Jawadi. I wouldn't mind going to a Game of Thrones Oh, concert. dude, he was, in, he was in Connecticut. He was at the Mohegan Sun, like, a month or two ago. And I was nice. thinking about I was thinking about going to see him, but I didn't I didn't have the money at the time. But yeah, he was going around just playing uh, the Game of Thrones music and shit. But yeah, they do they do have a uh, ah oh shit they do have a uh, uh, video game concert concerts. There was one there was one where it was um it was this it was the it was uh, Castlevania, but it was like a symphony doing it. It was fucking amazing. They also have a Final Fantasy symphony, too. Yeah, yeah, well. Okay, Pete, make sure he doesn't target me. Yeah, I'm gonna... Nice. 
I don't know how we're gonna do that because he turned me into a fucking skeleton, and then after, from then on, we were we were just fucked. Well, I got this thing going, so hopefully. But yeah, there was a there was a lady. No, I can't move. No, he turned me into a skeleton again because he's a cunt. There was a late there was a lady who used to comment on all my Dragon Quest videos and said, "Yeah, I really like the music," and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, the music's great." And then she was like, oh, I met this guy, Sugiyama. And I'm like, okay, good. And and then she just kept going on and on about it. And I'm like, any Dragon Quest video I had, she's like, I really like the music. And I'm like, yes, it's good. It's good shit. But eventually she stopped because maybe I just did too many. Yeah, Paul, I was, I was using that uh, thing to make him, like, look at me and shit. But he still hit you. I don't know why. Maybe uh, I, yeah. The only thing I can think of is maybe if I hit him with that ability and then, like, go away a little bit, like, walk away from where all the action's happening, that might help, because he'll still come after me, but you could still probably get him. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just... All right, let's, give, let's give another go. I have not bought any new games recently, no. Alright, I'm just gonna keep hitting him with this ability. Alright, good. Sorry, Dan, he's turning you into a, a, uh, a creature of the night. Hey, I can still fight. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, your, uh, your attack is limited. I have not bought any new games. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be getting anything new for a little while. Uh, whenever Nino Cooney comes out, Nino Cooney 2, I'll pick that up. I should look and see if they have a special edition that'll be coming out. Because I'll buy the shit out of that. Hey, I'm back to normal. Hey, man. Dan, you're back. No, 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 he's doing it to me. No, 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 no. Fuck. Maybe, Paul, you have to. Maybe if you, uh. How the hell did you come back, Dan? I just didn't care. I just wandered around and tried to hit him and didn't get killed, I guess. Oh, well, maybe if you do the same pull, I don't know if that helped. There we go. Just don't go. It's kind of hard when it. they're all targeting me and I'm not getting healing. I just got in front of the big guy's face and was trying to hit him. Ow. I, 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 I don't know. That doesn't work when I, I don't know. All right. They just they I turn into a skeleton and then all the archers start targeting me and I can't heal or or do anything. Yeah, I didn't even have my ultimate. But, yeah, but I'll try. I'll try it. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I didn't even have my ultimate. Like if I had that, I could probably heal you a bit. All right, let me. Maybe it's on a time limit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Because if Dan was able to get away with uh, not having to deal with it, maybe uh, Paul can as well. Oh, he's changing me. Um, skeleton of five. Dan is a ghosty film, sort of. Oh, you know what I think it is? Maybe you gotta get rid of all the, the little guys. When they have. I can't seem to swing my, uh, weapon. I can't swing my weapon at all. I Are you back yet? Uh, not yet. Oh, now I can swing. Oh, now I'm back. Yeah, Damn. you gotta get rid of all the... Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Take care of the little guys. Kill the little guys. And then you change back? Yup. Just keep killing the little guys. That's what you gotta do. Oh, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. That's if they keep coming. Ah, uh, there's, there's only a finite amount. I think. Are you back up? Oh, there's, this is probably. Nope. There nope. we go. Yeah, you know, an, an other, uh, composer that would probably be good to see would be uh, uh, what's his face, the one that did Skyrim. Somebody get changed? Yeah, yeah me. Yeah, Jeremy Soul. Yeah, like if those guys ever like went went without um. If those guys ever went without getting, like, um, 
like uh, any any offers for new games. They just go out on the road. People would go see them. People would go see them for sure. These. Oh look at that! We didn't have to kill them. I guess it. Honestly, I guess it's only a certain time limit. Uh, I mean, we could go try to kill these guys. I'm all, I'm, I'm poor. Uh, I think we got to kill less and less each time. But there's another guy yeah, they, here. Yeah, they keep, you know, another over here. You got him? No. There we go. Can somebody heal me? Or maybe not. A skeleton. You're a skeleton now, Dan? Damn. We can't keep him from skeletifying us. Ooh, ah, no. I forget how that stupefy song goes. Down with the sickness. Yeah, that's down with the sickness. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Man, I haven't listened to Disturbance forever. I just got back on a kick of playing, listening to the hives. Jesus Christ, he's doing it to me again. I just came back to life. Now you're back. Yeah. I'm a skeleton again. You're a skeleton again, Dan. They love turning you into a skeleton. But yeah, I just Dan got. Needs to fucking die. I right. just got back from listening to the hives, man. I haven't heard them in like forever. And then I heard him the other day when I was bowling. I was like, shit, yeah. I'm about to die. The hives. You shouldn't be dying now, Dan. You should be alive. Trophy. Look at that, Dan. You did it. Everybody healed? Yippee, Skippy. Oh, there's a trophy. Yay, Skippy. Yay, Skippy. That's right. All right, yeah. Isn't there a boat around here we can take? Or something? Yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah, because I remember we were all trying to swim back one time. We we're like, what the fuck? I... But yeah, no, nope. Abel, I have, we have not, anyone else bought new game lately or anything new? Anyone, any new news? Like anyone pregnant or anything like that? Or? I'm not, uh, I'm not <laughs> pregnant. Uh... uh. South Park, the Fractured But Whole, has a release date, finally again, of August 17th. I'm excited about that. Nice. I pre-ordered it a while ago. And um, w when you pre-order it, you get a... Uh, well, I, I don't think they're doing it anymore, but... Um, if you pre-ordered it by a certain time, you got a free copy of Stick of Truth on PS4 oh, as well. Nice. Nice. So, yeah, there's that I'm excited about. I'm excited about Death Stranding, uh, Hideo Kojima's new game. It yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, there's a game called, uh, that was at E3. It was called uh, Last Days or something like that. I forget what the hell it was called. Do you remember what the name of it was? Vic, do you remember? Anyways, there's this game. It's kind of similar to The Last of Us. It looks pretty good. I'm thinking about getting it. Uh... It's for the PS4 exclusively. The Last of Us 2, Paul, by the way, uh, is going to probably be a PS4 exclusive. So, did I say PS2 earlier? I don't know. No, you're all. Well, doesn't matter. I know what you meant. Yeah. Hey, where are you? I am in Stormhaven, and there's apparently a, a group boss and a way shrine that I've not done yet. Or a uh, dolmen I have not done, so I'm coming back. I'm coming back to my roots. Pete, Storm. you never stick with the buddy system. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, man, me and Dan are just hanging around here at fucking, you know, Bumblefuck Bankerai, and you're off doing whatever. And Pete just runs away. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, he, do he does that. I know. You gotta, like, put a chain on him. Yeah, I was I guess... waiting for you to come back on the boat, and I was looking for, at the boat, and I was like, wait, it's been a real long time. And then I looked at the <laughs> at your character thing, and it was like, oh, he's in a different country. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I roll. I just, I just fucking take me where my fucking whatever 
wherever I go, I guess, or something. But uh, there's an upcoming Yakuza game for the PS4. You get to cover your body with tattoos. That sounds kind of fun. I heard those Yakuza games are pretty fun. Like, you can shoot people and stuff. That's always fun, right? Shooting people. As long as you're doing it in a game and not in real life, it's all good. That's why I like Grand Theft Auto so much. You I know, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. You get you get it, your aggression out on that game. You're like, fucking... Yeah, I'll kill a hooker. I don't care. <laughs> um, Pete, I believe they're called Ladies of the Night. Oh, right. Escorts. So I like to... Yeah, I like to make sure that they have the proper po pronoun of escort. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I like to pay for services. Yeah. And then kill them and get my money back. That's what I like yeah. to do. That's what I like to do too. Sometimes. Just tell them, listen, I, I'm, I'm not paying for this. But it, in the game, not, not in real oh, life. Oh, not in real Just... life, of course. <laughs> of course. Is there a way to get over there, like? See, I wish there was a way we could get, like, you could have, like, your own little boat. Wouldn't that be nice? Instead of swimming all the time? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, hell, even in Skyrim, you, I take my horse in the fucking water. Yeah, or, like, there could be, like, a cool... There could be, like, a cool, like, paddle boat or, like, even a... One of them... The boats... Yeah, with the pedals. Yeah, a hey, pedal I boat, can, yeah. Like a, a mount. Get a mount for the fucking water, like a seahorse or something. Yeah, like seahorse would be pretty cool. I don't know what the fuck these assholes are thinking. They, at Zenny Max, fix that shit. <laughs> Get a fucking uh, like a horse, uh, a fucking merman lady or something. Oh, I hear my, I hear myself a uh, dark anchor, fellas. I wonder if we're gonna be able to get there in time. This guy can wait. Tape Titan Claw. Yeah, fuck him. Let's get to that. Let's get to that dolmen. See if he'll chase us over there. Oh, that would be great, dude. I can kill two birds with one stone. Or two crabs with one stone. Is no one over there? There's one dickhead over there. Kind of a pain in the ass to get here. Two That's crabs and one bottle of shampoo. <laughs> yeah! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Like that, Paul. That is a good one. Or two bottle, or one bottle of bleach for, for your nutsack, right, Souter? <laughs> <laughs> no. You gotta clean your testicles with some bleach. I gotta make sure those swimmies are not swimming so well. They gotta get out of the pool. I think I might have contaminated the pool. Yeah. So, Statter, when are you moving out of Kansas? <sighs> I don't know. Probably never. Yeah, you should, man. When are you moving out of Connecticut? Uh, tomorrow. You are a liar. Yeah, well, you know, I lie. He's I'm right. Just, he does lie. I, I lie a lot, dude. I don't know if you know me. <laughs> oh, I know you lie a lot. Yeah. I lie, like, uh, a lot. But yeah, when you're gonna vote your governor out, huh? How, how crappy is your governor? How oh, crap? Pretty bad. Yeah, you, why, why don't you start like telling people to do stuff? Yes, sacrifice those. Because we're all idiots. And yeah, there you go, classic. Well, yep. now he's a truth teller. Yeah, now now start. At least you're telling the truth. You're like, we're all idiots. I mean, when you gonna run? When are you gonna run for like whatever of Gerard or? Wherever yeah. the hell you live. I don't even know what county you live or what city you live in anymore. I live in... I live... I don't know. I live in Crawford County, Kansas. Well, why don't you run for Crawford County, Kansas guy? You should do that, Sutter. You, well, you should, you should run for your county. Nah. My county's doing all right. For the time well, being. Mine's not. Well, that's why you need to run, Stouter. You gotta, you gotta be the goddamn county guy that 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 place deserves, not that it need, no, that it needs, and not that it deserves. You know what I'm saying, Stouter? Yeah. 
Just like a Batman. Then bat you know, he's the he's the hero the city needs, not the one that the city deserves. Is that is that am I saying that right, Paul? You remember the movie, right, a little bit? Uh, what movie again, Pete? I'm sorry. It's like the bat the Batman movie where he's like they're talking Which about one? uh I think it's the Dark Knight Rises or whatever and he's like I never watched it. Oh, you never watched the the uh the one with Heath Ledger's the Joker? Nope. Really? Never I never watched it. I always I heard about the damn hype and I was like, you know what? It's probably not gonna be as good as the nineteen eighty one nine one, so I'm not gonna bother. Alright, well you I should never fucking bother. You should watch it. It's pretty good. But yeah, there's a line in there where they says something like uh, to the to the point of like, oh, you know, Batman is the hero the city needs, not the hero the city deserves, or some some shit like that. Some shit like that. I can't re can't remember. I'm, I'm gonna pull. You a know, I'm gonna be a bit of an oddball here. I'm gonna be the odd guy out, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna throw it out there. I did not really care for Heath Ledger as the Joker. Oh, I thought really? he was good. I thought he was good. He's definitely a lot better than fucking, uh... Jared Leto. I don't know if any of you guys saw Suicide Squad, but... Fucking Jared Leto. Oh, version. Jared. His version. Yeah, of I'll agree with you. Yeah. Awful. Yeah, version of the Joker is fucking dog shit. I don't know. He just... The clips I saw of him, where everybody's talking, you know, like he's more of a dark Joker. I don't know, man. I just never really considered the Joker a, a fucking darker character like that. I, I liked Nicholson's portrayal. Oh. So, I mean, a little bit I did see without watching the movie. I'm just like, ah, I don't know, man. I'm just not digging it. Yeah. That's exactly how I felt about it. Yeah. Well, the thing about the Joker is he yeah. is a fairly dark character. I mean, he does have his humor, but it's like balanced with the... E you know, he's balanced with being dark and, and like funny and shit like that. Yeah, but I didn't I didn't get any funny from Heath Ledger's joke. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, there is no funny. There is a lot of funny. That's why if you put Heath Ledger's Joker and Jack Nicholson's Joker together, you probably get like the perfect uh, version of the Joker. Where it's a combination of both. He's kind of crazy. He's very dark and he can be very funny. Like I mean, if you look at if you look at like some of the shit that he's done, like he's killed fucking Robin. He's fucking um, he fucking killed uh, or no, he didn't kill. Don't like, die, Dan. Run away, Dan. Run away. He Run par away. He paralyzed. Uh, oh, never mind. We beat him. Gordon, what the hell is her name? Barbara Gordon, and probably raped her. You know, he's, he can get pretty goddamn dark. He pretty much treats uh, Harley Quinn as a. Uh, like a fucking object rather than like uh, a partner or anything. I mean, that's her fault for going along with it, but. Um. Oh, that werewolf guy is a, another player. Oh. Yeah. Thought he well, you was, thought uh, it was just. You thought he was a bad guy? When I saw him over at the dome and I thought it was an enemy, but then I didn't, I didn't realize he was over here too. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, uh, Jared Leto's version of it, Paul, is really bad. Who's that? He pre he pretty much. I, I have no idea who that is. Man. Jared Leto is the guy who plays the Joker in the Suicide Squad movie that recently came out. He basically plays him as like a gangster, but like a Latin gangster that's the Joker. It's really bad. And like the what, thing about the what Joker, is this? huh? What's this from? The Suicide Squad. Oh. That DC movie that came out like was it earlier this year? Anyways, it's it's a, it's a total pile of garbage. And the thing about it is, is like, like the Joker, you don't need him to have a crazy like tattoo to his head. You know he's fucking crazy. You don't need that shit. And then just the stupid shit that he did. It's like get the fuck out of here. It's just a, and that, yeah, that that movie was just a fucking shit show. Fucking god. Anyways, uh, let's see. Anything else to do? I, I don't know. My, my, my problem with the Dark Knight Rising 2 was it seemed like so many people were overhyping the shit out. I, and I had, like, Titanic flashbacks because there were people, like, saying, I saw the movie, like, ten times. Hmm. And it's like, holy shit, man, why? 
Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, yeah, I'm like, no, nah, it's another Titanic. I'm not gonna go see it. Right. Fuck that. <laughs> well, yeah, I get. Well, no, it was really good, Paul. Eventually, what if, you should... we t- what if we told you it was really mediocre, and then you just were like, oh, it's gonna be mediocre, and then you watched it to see if it was mediocre yeah. instead of good. Yeah. Well, I could... then I would be like, okay, it's better than my expectations. And what you know, people tell me, okay, I'm thinking it's gonna be mediocre. And if I go in there and I think it's better than mediocre, then I'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Well, then yeah, That's it all. is. A... I mean, it's a totally mediocre movie. Bro. Yeah, it's like. Ugh. It's, uh... Just average, all yeah. the way. It's Steven average Kyle at best. Steven Kyle average. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're yeah. Steven Kyle, at least out. Average. Yeah, oh, uh, I don't know, hey, Stout. Uh, yeah, don't, 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 like, shit on the movie too much, t Stout. Yeah, I know, come on, man. It's not t Stout average. Yeah. Jeez, man, you're making it like it's the fucking worst thing since sliced bread. Yeah. And it's te- definitely not. Are these those crag-worn fucking things where it's like, yeah, these are those stupid... An- Ankara. Ankara. I'm just looking for another group boss because we're getting kind of close to the end here. But, um... Yeah, man. Fucking... It's not T-Stout bad. But how, how bad is T-Stout? Like, T-Stout up- bad is like Suicide Squad bad or like... Batman. T-Stout bad. T-Stout bad is be, is like being born with no hands. No, it's like Alien Covenant bad, right? Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, if you had to describe it as a movie, then yeah. T-Stout uh, bad is Alien Covenant bad, which apparently was a bad so, movie. So, T-Stout bad is the 2008 Detroit Lions. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I can't. I'm not. It went 0-15. Uh, they went 0-15. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, I'll believe it. <clears throat> okay. I'll take that into consideration. Gotcha. I'm winless. <clears throat> yeah, you're win. No, no, you know what? You're you definitely got one under your belt. You made like a Okay. All you right, made like I'm a the Cleveland Browns. That's yeah. even better. You made like a fluke thing gotcha. or something. I'm one in one in 15. I'll all right, take it. fellas, okay. I am going to green shade. There's one dolmen here. I've not gotten I'm gonna do that, and then Dan, we're gonna check out your moist house, and I think okay. that's it for, and I think that's it for the day. Right. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, T Stout bad. You know, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that you might have won a game. Okay. So. T Stout's gotta make everything about him, even when it's the baddest thing. I know, in man. The world. He 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 definitely, he is definitely something else. The Stouter here. Yeah. Like I've never, I've never heard anyone try to insert him, himself in the conversation as much as you try to. Like you're like, oh, he's, it's just as it's T Stout version of this. It's like, dude, you don't got it. You don't got it. You could have said something about like the lions, and not inserted yourself, and I think you'd have been fine. Yeah. Well. Oh, my computer crashed. All right. Oh. Nice. Awesome. You know hey, what? You're not- now you're acting like me. Yeah, and yeah, you want to know why? It's because of the Stouter. Time. It's the curse of the Stouter. He's got, he's, you know, <laughs> all the electronics that any, if you, if you guys have anything near and dear to your heart, you watch out because it's like going to get destroyed with the Stouter around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, your computer will be like rendering things at like a half a frame a second. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or we can cook bacon on it, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. You can fucking cook bacon. You can cook a lot of shit on Stouter's computer. It gets hotter than the fucking earth. Or the uh, surface of the sun. It gets real fucking hot. I think we gotta go up this way, Paul. Towards that... Without electronic equipment. What'd you say? Did we lose T-Stout Dan? T-Stout and electronics don't mix. T-Stout and electronics do not mix. We did lose Dan for a moment. Or for a little bit. His computer crash is probably restarting it. So it's just me and Paul right now. It keeps overheating and shutting off. Your computer? Yeah. Yeah, you better pour, like, water on it then if it gets overheated. <laughs> right? Get your computer a glass... Get your computer a glass of water or something. You're sure it's overheating? Yeah, it says over temperature error. Oh, wow. That's not good. 
When, when my shit is did it that, really, is it really hot it. in your uh, in your abode? I have the air conditioner on, but this room gets really hot. Yeah, it's, uh, I put a fan right on it. Does uh, I don't I don't know who built your computer, but uh, maybe they should have thrown in like a better uh, heat sink. I don't know which. I don't even remember what the hell we. I mean, did we put liquid cooling in Dan's computer? I don't think so. I don't even... Oh, okay. No. Probably just the stock CPU and fan that. I think like. so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't used stock things and fan long then. Yeah. Yes, we are using Skype. Yeah, not everyone has a water cooler like Paul. Yeah, uh, my next computer is totally going to have a water cooler. It's going to be awesome. It's gonna be a goddamn beast. Yeah, it'll keep the room you're in uh, cooler as well. Yeah, I know. It's a win-win. I'm gonna just get a computer that that's gonna like do all kinds of stuff for me. It's gonna do my taxes. It's gonna be the best. Yeah. Will it make you coffee? It will. I'm gonna have something that's gonna have like a little coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna get a USB <laughs> coffee machine. Yeah, shit. Why not, right? <laughs> I'm gonna live the good life. There you go. That's what you gotta do, Statter. Live the good life. Hell, you make toast too. Hook the toaster up. Yeah, they have a USB toaster. Why not, right? Why the hell not? But yeah, uh, private sleepy. We are using Skype. Eventually, I want to use Discord. Cause I heard Discord's better. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing with console, if you're playing this game on consoles, chances are you probably can't do voice chat. Yeah. You probably gotta do some like retarded ass fucking like emote, uh, stock answer and reply kind of bullshit. You yeah. know, you gotta select from a menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if Dan is on right now, but uh, Private Sleepy said maybe he should try to clean the heat sink. I don't know. Is that something? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta try to clean the heat sink, and uh, I don't know. You can get thermal paste. I don't know what oh, kind of yeah. thermal paste the guy uh, put on there originally, but yeah, you gotta clean the heat sink and then uh, put on some new thermal paste. Yeah. yeah. Arctic silver. Yup. Less is more. You don't want to put a whole. You don't want to put too much on there because if you put too much, uh, that'll do the opposite for you. Right. That all we need is like a tiny, tiny little drop. That's all you need. Yeah. Alright. Is there like a brand or something that I should buy? Yeah, Arctic Silver. Arctic that... what? Arctic Silver. Silver. Arctic Silver, yep. <laughs> Privacy, what'd you say? WND the fan? You mean clean the fan or wind it or wind it? Yeah, I don't know what WND stands for. Do, do you think uh, you think Dan should blow into his fan like just, and that's how he could keep the cool, keep the computer cold? He could just blow on it like if it's a hot, if it's like a hot food, just go. <sighs> That'll keep your computer cool, Dan. But uh. I mean, you gotta do that like all the time, so you might not be able to actually use the computer, but at least you'll keep it cool with your breath. Alright, well, I'm like, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know how when you have, you know when you have, like, a soup that's a little too hot and you gotta blow on it? Oh, uh, Private Sleepy said, yes, clean it, and then he can blow it up with explosives. That usually, okay. keeps, that usually keeps stuff cool, too. I mean, nothing yeah. says cold like a, like a TNT, right? Yeah. You can always put a little bit of bleach on it, too. I heard that helps. Oh, God. It cleans the old testicles real nice. No, it disinfects it. But that's no, it disinfects it. your testicles. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Well, whatever you got to do with your testicles, you yeah. go right ahead. Someone died? I'm not reviving him. Where the hell is this, the uh, way shrine? Right there. Did you guys beat that thing yet? Yes, we did, Dan. Thank you for your help. You're a hell of a guy. 
Are you on right now, Dan? Yeah, I logged back in. All right, well, let's go to your house. Okay. And then I'm done. Friends. Ghosty films. Visit primary residence. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what you did with your moist house. <laughs> your shit pile. Stay moist mansion. I still can't believe they named it that. <laughs> I, re I really can't. How does the spacious and comely hilltop manor so far above the fen nonetheless stay so delightfully damp? It's a paradox, like life itself. Are you reading, are you reading like something, the, uh, the fucking, um, uh, what the, the hell The loading they screen description. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought you were reading something, the, um, why can't I think of the, uh, people who sell, who the fucking people who sell you houses? Real estate agent, there you go. Yeah, real you're, re chart. you're reading something the real estate agent told you about this place, yeah. huh? Uh-huh. Do you like a cozy outdoor thing? Yeah. Well, then... Well, then do this. Oh, look at this. We can all sit next to the fire. Yep. This, this is nice, Dan. If you can only get marshmallows, that would really make... That would really tie the room together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have oh, a, oh, he has a bong, too. That would be great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it really ties the room together. Oh, look at this, Dan. Look at you inside. Oh, wow, you got crystals now, Dan. Look at you. Oh, and I even got a new trophy on this thing that we did today. Yeah, look at you getting all these things. It's creepy that you got them here, but all right. Why is it creepy? I don't know. I always <laughs> thought I always thought it was weird to hang up the head a head of something you killed. Oh. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just me. Maybe it's not weird to anyone else. Well, you know, yeah, I love murder. No, but especially if it's like a human-like head, like this guy over here, kind of looks kind of like. Here's the new one I just got. Where? Like, this ice guy is, like, okay, because it's like, okay, you killed an ice thing. And how's it staying cold? Yeah, this, yeah, this see? Is... See? No, no thank you. That's, that's, that's the, uh, that's the... I don't care, Dan, Dan that's... Dan, Dan, that's scary, and I'm gonna run upstairs now. Look, <laughs> you got, you got art going on in your house? This looks like a good place to live, Dan. You should be charging rent to people. Wouldn't that be yeah. great if you could be a fucking slumlord in this game? God damn, <laughs> that you can make a... You can make, like, a shit ton of money just fucking renting out shithole houses. This is houses. where the magic happens, Pete. Yeah. You can probably get banned for that, Pete, remember? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Which <laughs> which place is where the magic happens, Dan? I'm sorry. Right over here. This room or this room? The, the one I'm in. Where are you? I don't even... Oh, right here. This is where the magic... <laughs> 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 uh, he's getting ready. <laughs> you know, how, do play dead? how do I fucking play dead on this thing? <laughs> what's, what's, the, uh, what's the fucking uh, <laughs> line? Uh, what is it? Like forward slash lie down or something? Oh, oh shit, that's funny. God damn. So I used to have that, that fucking thing installed where I could like just look at the emotes list but that is too I, good so Dan that's the master bedroom right there yep. okay that's gonna be my mission for next week <laughs> install that plugin again all right let me go mod or that thing let me go outside and check the upstairs and then I think we're done for tonight fellas at least streaming um how the fuck do I get upstairs again you can walk around the building or you can go up oh here. here we go here we go thank you I got it. I got it. There's, there's a walkway over on this side. There's a, Dan, you're doing a hell of a job in this house, that's for sure. You did a good job. I mean, we just need a big screen TV. Yeah, I know. Somewhere. It's a 4K big screen TV. Of course. Only the best from Dan Brown. Wee. Anyways, I think that's it for tonight. Alright. Nice job on the house, Dan. I'm just gonna stop Thanks. here, man. It's ter it's a terrific house. So, let's see here. We are all set. I want to thank everyone who has joined us tonight. From the people on the stream to the chatters up in the stream. So, uh, I want to thank Abel and Private Sleepy. The great Abel and the great Private Sleepy. I want to thank... The Great Bullzome. 
Thanks for having me. I want to thank the great Ghosty Films. You're welcome, Pete. Goodbye. I, I want to thank the great <laughs> Veteran0121. Good night, everybody. And the decent Thomas Stout 25. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. All right, so uh, yeah, make sure oh, to man, check. You're being, you're being generous with the decent. There, <laughs> yeah, aren't you? yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. I you know I figured I I wasn't gonna say okay, you know. But anyways, uh, yeah, check out the stream on uh, on YouTube afterwards or uh, next Sunday. So I've been Kenshin nineteen thirteen, and uh, enjoy the rest of your life. <laughs>